It's a beautiful quote from Pope John Paul II, which states, the proper ecological balance will not be found without directly addressing the structural forms of poverty that exist throughout the world. We do well to ask, who is hurting most as a result of, of this decision? Who is in greatest need as a result of a, a particular crisis? Where the earth is desecrated is also where women are desecrated and the poorest of the poor are desecrated. So the healing of both and the finding of the avenues of support and integration is so vital for this time. Money seems to be the only way to really measure the worth of anything. And I think we really need to get away from that, especially in terms of your relationship to food and the relationships of people who grow your food. Um, we always talk about cheap. In terms of other things that you want to buy, you don't ask for the cheapest. Why does your food have to be cheap? The people that, that grow your food put a lot of labor into it. We step away from the poor. We step away from anything that's unpleasant, anything that we perceive or our society perceives as unpleasant, like the elderly, like the dying, like the poor, because they're no longer useful. They're no longer producing. They're no longer part of the economy. But we're also stepping away from our sense of belonging here on this earth. The fact that this is our home and that as we use it up, our home is shrinking and is becoming very sick. I would say that we are, as Scarborough missionaries, we try to be on the side of the poor and marginalized peoples of the world to live in solidarity with them. And more recently, I've begun to say that that has involved as well being in solidarity with the whole community of life. My motto as a bishop is, is a twofold motto. The scriptural part of it is verbum vitae, uh, uh, the word of life. The word that God speaks is, is life. And the other part of the motto comes from Thomas Merton. Uh, and it's mercy within mercy within mercy. And it's from his book, The Sign of Jonah. And God saying to Jonah, to Merton himself and to us too. I have always overshadowed Jonah with my mercy. Have you not had sight of me, Jonah, my child? Mercy within mercy within mercy. What is that word that God speaks? Well, that word is life, and that word is, is mercy. I'm very moved by uh, Pope Francis's witness in that regard already. He talks about this age as needing to be an age of mercy, where the church, above all else, shows forth mercy. And that word is about a way of living and a way of being in relationship with each other as as individuals, as communities, as Christian communities, but also a way of being in relationship with the, with the environment. And that mercy that we are shown by God and which we are called to show forth 
has to, has to reach out and include the environment. What Scarborough's Justice and Peace Office tries to focus on is we look at where, where Scarborough missionaries <coughs> are serving overseas and what is it that's going on here in the north that uh, is impacting on where people are in the south and what are some of those issues that uh, we could be um, working on here. And what I do now... Um, One of the charisms of Scarborough today is uh, working along the lines of ecology uh, when I was in Brazil or working in Brazil, one of the big things there, one of the issues is the deforestation of the jungle. The burning and the clear cutting of, of the Amazon forest to raise cattle. And this is very controversial within Brazil. In Malawi, in Africa, in the Andes with the glaciers melting, um, even in the Amazon area, which is under threat of drying and turning into a savanna. You know, addressing our lifestyles and policies that have an impact on people in the global south. So ecological justice and climate change um, is the first priority. And I would say it's a, a faith issue for Christians everywhere. Next thing I knew, someone was asking me would the sisters have a site for the community garden because they couldn't find uncontaminated soil. And it has evolved from about six plots to now um, 70 plots. Uh, it's going to be 80 at the end of the year. And we have a wonderful um, partnership with the food bank for the county. So this is a huge overflow of, of the ministry, you know, connected with ecology, connected with the theology and spirituality. We can't just talk about ecology. We have to learn to live it in this day and time. It's essential. One thing I like about hospice is that everybody has their own room and there's a door to our hospice where the bed can go outside onto a patio. And uh, so if they want to be outside, they can be outside. And one person died outside late November and she just loved it, being outside on the patio. And uh, the family were able to be present to her as she died outside. And this was so lovely because she that's where she wanted to be. The most significant line in the Bible is probably God is love. If one really believes that God is love, then everything that was created was for the benefit of, of all of us. And it is something beautiful, but it's not just a beautiful backdrop, it's something that we interact with all the time and therefore have to handle with care. Uh, it's not something that you hear preached about regularly on a, on a Sunday. However, it is something that many parishioners with Catholic uh, groups, with groups who are promoting the environment, uh, are connected uh, directly to environmental conservation, preservation, uh, working towards uh, fighting different initiatives, different injustices that may be harming the environment. This document from the bishops invites the people of God to take seriously the environment, to truly take on our responsibility of being witness to a different way of living in relation to the environment, a way that's sustainable, a way that's life-giving for all people. <laughs>